Like many teenagers, Kyle Brust makes it a point to do his homework as soon as he gets home. Unlike most, Kyle often did his with a crippling stomachache. In fact, the pain often started while he was at school, but getting help there was getting harder. Some of my teachers wouldn't let me go because I'd asked so many times before and they thought I was trying to get out of class. Kyle's mom, Marilyn, says she couldn't blame the teachers. After all, she had taken him to the doctor several times herself and even they couldn't find anything wrong. You know, you're running the tests and nothing's coming up. So it's like, is it in his head? Is he just, you know, an overly stressful child? So it was just frustrating because we're not finding any answers. It turns out Kyle was suffering from a condition known as functional abdominal pain that affects as many as one out of every 10 kids in this country. And even though the cause of the pain may not be obvious, there are real consequences. It really does hurt. And these kids really do suffer. So to help them, Dr. John Campo of Nationwide Children's Hospital is looking into a new approach. He's conducting yes. clinical trials of an antidepressant that changes the way the body handles a chemical called serotonin. In a preliminary study, Dr. Campo found that in about 8 out of 10 cases, the drug normally used to treat emotional pain worked to ease the pain in the stomach. We think about it as being important in anxiety and in depression, and that's all quite true. But what's really interesting is that 95% of our body's serotonin is in our in our gut. Campo believes these kids have extremely sensitive intestines and controlling the effects of serotonin may help ease the pain. It seemed to work for Kyle, who is now completely pain free for the first time in years. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.